yo what's going on guys welcome back to my channel so into this video i will show you guys how to design a funeral program in core android if you're new don't forget to subscribe and without any further ado let's jump right to the video all right guys so this is the page one and the page two you'll remember if you have not watched this particular episode let's go and watch before joining us in this class all right so we've had the first page and this is the back page so we've designed the second and the first and the second page all right so now we're going to design the page three and page four all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to over here all right to add another page come over to this plus side click on it and you will have an, an empty space all right so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this and um select this copy it so that we'll have the same frame so we're going to paste this all right so now i'm going to remove everything that has to do with this by right clicking and select frame type then you will see remove frame type why am i doing this if you notice we have a background in here there's a background if you need if you notice there's a background here so to remove it we need to go to this right click right click on the image sorry on the frame then you will locate frame type then you will see um remove frame then when you click on it this option will come up asking you um the content of the frame will be lost when the frame type is set to not then click on ok so that we'll lose everything that is inside the frame now we're going to do the same to this by clicking and select frame type then remove frame and we're going to click on ok and as you can see we have a blank space to design and now what we're going to do is uh let me delete this one all right what we're going to do is we're going to import our um our file that's the background which i'm going to make use of on this particular page by right clicking on this and select import all right so once i do that um we're going to come back to this funeral that will have page um uh, is page three and four then i'm going to do um select this background and i'm going to import it and i'm going to just place it just right here and this is basically what we're going to have now i'm going to go come over to this on the this is the text we're we'll making use of so i'm going to just uh, double click on this to open it and these are the text we'll be making use of and the font we'll be making use of here is Capton book and what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this uh we're going to come over to this and i'm going to bring in this background and i click on it and select power clip inside then once this arrow comes up it's asking you where do you want to power clip um the background to so we're power clipping in this frame so we're going to just point to this and um let's click immediately then right click and select edit power clip to take it to the frames then what we're going to do is we're going to scale this up and place this just right here and basically we're going to leave that to that and click on finish and this is basically what we are going to have and the next thing i'm going to do is remember guys this is page one and this is front page and back page remember we've designed it if you have not if you don't understand anything here please first of all go and watch the episode one of this tutorial all right so this is the page um page one and two and we're designing page three and page four this is a funeral program you asked for it so i'm giving it to you guys so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my rectangle tool and i'm going to draw a box just right here all right so i'm going to leave it this white and basically we're going to basically um reduce this this way and uh place this one here all right so what i'm gonna do is i want to just bring this one this way and leave that to that so what i'm going to do i want to use my transparency tool and remember guys i told you that transparency tool is either used to reveal or hide so now we want to reveal part of that background um by going to this and just um increase it a bit so we can see part of the background from here so we are revealing it all right we are revealing it just make sure you are at 26 26 is fine for now that is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is uh remember what i told you guys in the previous videos um the client actually asked us to um always make sure that this um this this logo and um the everything about this logo is shown on every page so i want to copy this 
All right, I'm gonna copy this one and come over to this place and paste it just right here. So we're gonna leave that to that. And um, remember, this is page three. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna come over to this. So this is the text. All right. So right now, guys, this is the text we're making use of. So what we're gonna do now is I will show you guys how to, um, you know, how to place your text in CorelDRAW, how to align your text. Now, this is officiating ministers. Remember, guys, not every details here I will include for you guys. So I want to select my text to, in this case, do not just click and paste. What you're going to do is just drag this way. You can see, drag it. So you can see this is the, uh, this is the alignment. This is the frame. And uh, this is our text. We are going to paste our text. Now we have um, officiating minister. So what I did was I basically, um, I basically come over here and um, copy this. And I came and um, double click on it and use control plus V to copy this text. Then come over to this and use control plus um, V, control C to copy then control V to paste. Now you can drag this up depending on the, the text you're having, the volume of the text. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to change the font to Capton Book. All right. Capton Book. And the font will be font 9. Like I told you, I don't want, I don't always want my, um, my text to be, um, so, so big. It doesn't make your design look unique, but I can actually go ahead and change to font eight. And, um, as you can see, our text is on it clicks. So we're going to remove that on it clicks by going to, um, using our property bar and you can locate italics this way, or you can basically highlight everything and use control plus I to remove it this way. And that is fine guys. So right now we're going to bullet this. What we mean by bullet point is you can add an ombre or use a bullet point. So, um, to this, all right. So I'm going to cut this one first of all. All right. So when I cut it, I'm going to paste it just right here. And this is basically, um, what we're going to have. All right. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, what we're going to do is I want to just put this here. Um, put the bullet points and I'm going to bring this one here. All right. Just leave that to that. Just be, you know, put your bullet points, put your bullet points. All right. Put your bullet points, put your bullet points, put your bullet points. All right. So come over to this and put a bullet point. All right. Put the bullet points. You can do that this way. And that is it, guys. Just put the bullet points and that is what you're going to have. All right. So you can see this is, um, this is a minister in charge. So this one will not have a bullet point. All right. So we're going to just bring this one here and that is it, guys. So for this one, guys, uh, what I'm going to do is you can see the spacing is, is too close. It's too close to each other. And I want to use my shape tool and drag this down here. All right, so drag it to increase the spacing. This way, you know, this is not Microsoft Word where you can just um, increase spacing anyhow. You have to do it uh, manually in current draw. All right, so I'm going to bring in my rectangle suit and uh, basically draw a box just right here. And uh, I want to give it, uh, I want to give it this color, but let's use this one. So this is the color I'm going to give it. So I want to, remember we had the text here. I want to use shift page up to bring it forward and I'm going to bold it and give it a white color. So I'm going to basically place that here, but this is not the color I want for now. So I think, um, let's give it, um, this color. All right. So that's fine. So now what I'm going to do is I want to select everything here, duplicate it this way. All right. So we're going to basically duplicate this, come over here, copy order of funeral. All right. So once I copy that, I'm going to paste that just right here. All right. But, uh, remove this one. We're going to paste it just right here. So we're going to copy this one order of funeral and paste it just right here. So I believe if you have any question guys, please don't forget, drop me comments in the comment section below. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, um, reduce this and, uh, basically 
let's take this one up. Let's take this one off and um, um, highlight this and take this one up. So remember, guys, we are designing a funeral program. And once you're doing that, um, remember, guys, if you're confused, we had um, on the front page, I told you guys we have funeral service, we have biography, we have tribute, and we have him. So if you come over to this now, we have designed the um We are on the funeral service. So you can see before the funeral service, you have to look at do, who is officiating the service of the funeral. So this is where the names of the officiating ministers comes in the order of, of funeral of service and uh, we're going to come over to this and based, based on why why i'm actually um why i'm actually duplicating this is because i want to maintain this um format so i want to just drag this one down here and once i do that i want to come over to this and um, basically uh, i'm going to copy this one so i'm going to copy this the word so once i copy that i'm going to delete this and paste this one just right here and this is basically what we are going to have so right now i want to basically use my um shape so and reduce the spacing just right here all right remember we are maintaining the format so this one is the word i just type that because i don't want to go and just um start copying so that um, it will be faster as you can see so right now i want to place this one just right here and basically guys um we are done with our page our page three all right so i want to just bring this one down here a bit so this is what we're going to have so we have our page three all right so now page four i want to right click on this background select part you place it in here and um I click again, select edit power clip, um, scale this up just right here. And once I do that, I'm going to just basically pin this to this. And uh, so we're going to just uh, basically click on finish. And this is what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this, place it just right here. Um, place it here. And this is what we are going to have. So make sure this and this is aligned so highlight this whole shift hold this one and press letter t to make sure they are aligned as you can see they are aligned and um so the next thing we're going to do is uh i want to bring in this one here and um bring this one here and this is what we're going to have so i want to basically select this bring this one instead of putting it in this side so we're going to put it by the right and we have the respond. This is the respond. So now I'm going to just basically paste it just right here. And now this is what we're going to have. So let's reduce this from now. And we're going to copy the text on that respond. And um, this is it. And we're going to just delete this one and paste this one just right there. And we have offering. So we're going to bold this one, give it this color. And um, I guess, guys. This is basically what it looks like. So over here, I'm going to just give this one um, a bullet and um, bullet points. And this one, bullet points. And this is basically what you're going to have. So make sure they are aligned, as you can see. Um, make sure they are aligned so well that nothing was distorting here. And this is basically what we're going to have. So right now, guys. I don't want here to be plain, so I want to just basically put this. I want to put uh, my use my tra uh, sorry my rectangle to and draw a box here, give it a white color, and basically, guys, uh, what I'm going to do now is let's allow this to load for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and select convert to curve. Shortcut is Control plus U, and I'm going to use my shape tool. I'm going to put a knot here, select to curve, and um, basically. Drag this one down this way. And once I do that, I'm going to just scale this one up. And bring this one in here. All right. And I right click on it. I right click on it and select power clip and place it into this frame. I right click on this again, select um, power clip, place it in here. So what you're going to do is you can see we have this. So we're going to bring another one here. 
so remember i told you guys we are making we are placing all this logo on every page but like i said not on every page because depend on the page we are designing so over here we don't have information to put here so i'm going to come over to this and uh i'm going to copy this image copy it then i'm going to paste it just right here so i'm going to reduce this this way place this one just right here i'm going to mirror it using my mirror tool over here and i'm going to change it to grayscale by going to bitmap select mode select um grayscale and leave that to that so i want to right click and select power clip and place it into this frame then i want to right click again and select edit power clip then i'm going to um highlight this and use shift page up to bring it forward so once i do that i'm going to basically reduce this and take it up a little bit and um link that to that and basically guys this is how we design the page three and page four in current row so the next episode that is coming up we're going to design the page um, five and six. Like I promised you guys, I'll take you guys to the process. See, so we we'll get to the photo gallery. All right. If I have more strength, we'll enter the three put. And this is how we did it. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, please. Please, I'm begging you guys. I beg you in the name of God, please share my videos for other people to um, get to find this channel. And uh, we get to do more stuff in the start. Like I said, please don't forget, drop me a comment and like this video. See you guys in my next video.